Anki is a robotics and AI company. What we're doing is making it possible to have physical things in an environment, know exactly where they're located, and to be able to move precisely. I met Boris and Hans in 2005. We all started in the PhD program together at the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon. We were interested in applying robotics and AI to consumer products. We wanted to work on very difficult problems, but only if they had an impact in the real world. The idea for Anki really goes back to the summer of 2007. We were at a restaurant in Palo Alto. The three of us were just sitting around having a drink. There was just one idea that night that everyone just universally said, wow, that is awesome, we need to do this. The idea was to, that you have potentially multiple robots available who do something together. Each single unit doesn't need to be as smart, but the system as a whole, when you look at it, is something very intelligent. When we started working on what became Anki Drive, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't very glamorous. Random electronics in it, random sensors in it. Development kits, cameras. Prototyping kits, different microcontrollers. The very first moment I remember where we thought there is a good chance that this is going to work was when we had our very first prototype of a car. So we took the car, we put it on the road, and all of a sudden, for the very first time, we had a car sending back information, and the software knew exactly where it was located. And suddenly, like, we were in business. If you think about the state of AI and where we want to actually take it, we've, we've barely scratched the surface. The goal is to use the company Anki as a vehicle to do more and more sophisticated projects in robotics. Now when we look five years ahead, the sort of uh, landscape that we're going to have in front of us may completely change. All of a sudden we can do things that we could never do before, and that's the space that we want to be in.